what I've found in my own life is that um, if I don't keep up with, I'll put it this way, the different voices that are active within me, they come up and bite me. And so giving myself the space to settle in in my body first, and that's the physical practices, um, but also in my mind, my heart, and my spirit, then I find myself going faster and faster and faster without really being aware of what's going on inside. And then the old obstacles, the fears, the shame, the grief, whatever might still be residing in there, come up and distract me from being my fullest, most open-hearted, most effective self. So it's good for me, and I would like to think it's good for those with whom I interact. And in a larger sense that all of us doing that kind of work will be good for everything in the world, for peace, for harmony, for well-being. Moving my body is essential. If I just sit, it, it's as though it congeals things not only in my body but in everything, in the whole flow. So walking is something that I try to do consistently every day, yoga when I can, um, and that really has a, both a spiritual and a physical effect. Um, and then I'm not a completely regular meditator, but I find the opportunity to simply sit still and reflect in a calm way that's not the monkey mind way um, is also very helpful. And then there are other things which really open me up to more creativity and joyfulness like reading poetry or writing poetry, singing, dancing, those kinds of things. In order to address some of the very complex problems um, that we face in life, we need collaboration across groups. We need to bridge divides. But in order to do that, we need to be what we at Synergos call bridging leaders. And what we've discovered over time is that everybody has obstacles inside themselves. And that if they don't give the opportunity for reflection and space and interaction to surface those obstacles, which almost by definition means becoming vulnerable and releasing whatever the issues are that are inside, they won't be available to be their best listening selves and their most empathic selves and their most self-confident selves to be able to reach out across divides, to begin to create, I like to call it the social tapestry that we need to reweave in order for the world to be a place in greater harmony. There was a vice minister of agriculture in Ethiopia who went through the process of inner work and building a collaboration um, facilitated by Synergos. And after he came out, he gave the most touching testimonial about how this hadn't only made him more confident in his leadership skills, but made him realize that if he didn't lead his team in a way that led from the heart as well as from the mind, that he wasn't getting the best out of them. We wish that we were making it possible for everyone to do inner work. And it just isn't realistic to think that we can do that. There are a couple of the cases where that, in fact, happened. But mostly, it was a shift in the leadership so that the kinds of solutions would in fact be more participatory and therefore also more beneficial to everyone concerned. I mean, I think what, what happens when people go through this process is they feel more open, less scared of being vulnerable. As they express their vulnerability, people see their authenticity and appreciate it. That allows their heart to be more open 
for them to be more empathic with everyone around them. And that changes the whole dynamic of whatever the working group is and whatever the problem solving group is, so that you can then get to impact in which everyone agrees with the solution and everyone puts their full self behind it. One of the things that I think is most um, difficult for people is if they don't have any connection to any larger divinity because the personal problems they face or the problems they face in the world then seem like that's all there is. If we can connect to something larger than ourselves, then it creates a sense, first of all, of infinite love, that no matter what else is happening out there in the world, we are loved by the universe that contains us. And that provides a kind of base of hope and security that is necessary, really, to be fully present to some of the negative as well as the positive things that are out there in the world.